Bergerac was a BBC TV crime drama series based in Jersey on the Channel Islands. It ran between 1981 and 1991, over 87 episodes over nine series. It starred a very young John Nettles as Detective Jim Bergerac, and his transport of choice was a Triumph Roadster. So let's see if we can find out what happened to the cars featured in the programme. So to start off with, I can tell you that there were two different cars used over the various series. Now, the easy way to spot the difference is the earlier car had a, a grey interior, later car had a red interior, and the other obvious difference is the earlier car didn't have a bonnet badge, but the later one had a wing, winged mascot on the top of the bonnet. Now, this first car was actually a local car leased on the Channel Islands for the use in the programme. So, what happened to it afterwards? Well, the earliest record post-show I can find on it, of it was on Flickr by a user called Regent V207. Now, he's got a picture of it, which appears to be at a show. It's in 1991, and there's a, a, a sort of board in front of it saying uh, donations to a hospice, 50p. And I'm assuming that's so people can actually sit in the car and enjoy it. And there's a big gap until I find another record of it. And this was in Jan 2007, again on Flickr, a user called Ian Wilson spotted it at a jeweller's on the Channel Islands called Goldsmiths, where it was being displayed inside. Now, interestingly, the following summer, it's pictured again, but on the jimbergerac.de, the, the German site, and they were having a tour around the islands and managed to find the car. But by this time, it was actually being stored outside, so that's just over a year later. Then in 2010, another Flickr user, Duckwalk, posted a picture of a car, and it looks like it's in a car park. So this may be part of a car show or could be part of a car run. It then goes quiet again until 2017 in the March, when Jersey Museum launched a sort of special, a special event based around the 1980s. And the centrepiece of this exhibition is Jim Bergerac's car, the Triumph Roadster. Now, this car was there until early 2019, and as we can see by the pictures here, it was quite a struggle to get it out. They had to crane the car out to get it back down to ground level. Now, the owner reckoned a couple of sort of cans of petrol and it would be off again, but unfortunately, since that uh, um, sort of removal from the museum, I haven't really found anything on the car, so it's all gone a bit quiet, but... That's quite recent, so I imagine it's very much still about. Now, the second car was used from 1985 onwards. Now, my guess with this is that the series had become quite established, so rather than incurring the cost of leasing a car on the island, BBC decided to purchase their own one. Now, this was registration number KLX322. It was originally in white. It was a 1949 model, and it was a 2-litre. Now... They obviously had the car repainted into the correct colour, but obviously there was an interior colour change that we've all already covered. And the registration number was changed to 1610J, which is basically the same as the Jersey one, but with the J the other end. But in the TV programme, it continued to carry the Jersey plate for sort of continuity sakes. Once Bergerac had finished filming, in November 1991, the car was auctioned in aid of the Children in Need charity and it raised £37,000. And unfortunately, the new owner wasn't particularly impressed because apparently he wrote to John Nettles complaining that the car had subsequently failed an MOT and wanted to know what John was going to do about it. I'm not quite sure what the chap expected, but hey-ho, we all, we all have a try sometimes. It was then sold again in January 1994 to a Mr Graham Eads who kept it for a few years before it coming up for sale again in April 1997 when Brooks Auctioneers sold it through their Olympia auction in London. Now it stayed with the same owners from this period on until 2013 and sometime during this period the interior got changed. It was originally red leather as we mentioned before and it's now in beige leather. It's also had a little bit of an active life during that period because at one point it was used on the Land's End to John O'Groats charity run to raise money, and that's over 800 miles, and obviously for quite an old car, that's quite an achievement. It came up for sale again with Bonham's Auctioneers in November 2013, and this time it sold for £23,000. 
and the new owners enjoyed it for a little while, but it was sold again through Classic and Sports Car Limited in September 2015. And that realistically is the last we've heard of it, I'm afraid. If we do a quick My Car check, we can see that last change of keeper was um, September 2015. Um, also, the car has actually got valid tax on it at the moment, even though it's obviously historic tax in the UK. So the car is still being used, but we're just not seeing it around and about. And interestingly, rolling back, I know this car has been exempt from that MOT for some time, but between 07 and 2015, it only did 600 miles, so wasn't getting a massive amount of use. So if you know where it is, as ever, please do let us know in the comments below. And in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, please take a look at this one because we think you're going to enjoy that one as well.